guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Eva and the channel is about that much today I have a few chicken freezer meals I'm gonna do up it's nothing big it's just small amounts so if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing as we're bringing out new content all the time so let's jump into this freezer meal vlog okay I'm gonna chunk what I call this chicken up I've got three breasts that's what I'm going to use per bag this falls apart when you cook it anyway so straight into there do the same I'm going to do three these are huge breasts so I'm going to do three of these per meal, I think. You could leave them whole, but I find it's quicker to defrost when it's in smaller chunks because this will go straight in my slow cooker. And this is honey sesame chicken. So I will give you approximate amounts. Right. Okay, into this, my handy dandy bag holder here. We are going to put one medium to large onion, chopped. We're going to put one large clove of garlic. I'm going to pop that in. That in. We're going to put half a cup of honey. Mine's slightly crystallised, it's fine, it's all going to uncrystallise when you cook it. Okay, we're going to go in with about three quarters of a cup of tomato ketchup. That's going to go in. normally do this by eye in my slow cooker and then we're going to do a cup of soy sauce maybe a little while this up a minute and I'm just going to mix this with my hands in the bag just to get it all incorporated and there we are there's one so I'm going to pop over the away for a second I'm gonna get a second one out of the way again I s these little bag holders are absolutely fantastic for this and they're not expensive either I think I got mine from Timu or Shen just for a couple of quid but they are certainly a time saver and mixing is easier to manage so I'm just doing exactly the same again 
which is three chicken breasts if you had smaller chicken breasts I'd probably go to four maybe five but these are huge probably saw them last week in my grocery haul which I will link up in the icons which is I think up this one for you so you can go and see that I bought them especially for this cut off this bit of fat don't want it you can see it is a rough cut I'm not fussy on this everyone's going to eat it just the same there we are Put that over in with again one cup of onion well not one cup one onion one very large clove of garlic we need half a cup of honey we're gonna go almost a cup of ketchup This does just take minutes to prep. I love things like this. Makes it so easy. Right. One cup of soy sauce. This is just a premium soy sauce. I actually think I got this one from it's either Seamart or Tesco's. as quick as that and you've got two freezer meals there ready to go just like last time move that out of the way and give it a mush around and that's the second one wipe up I always like to wipe the bags down before I put them in the freezer. So that's one done. Just in case anything spilled. Nope. And the sesame seeds you put on when you serve. I just go in my slow cooker for from frozen I'd say probably eight hours if you pulled out the night before four four hours something like that right so the, this is August 24 honey sesame chicken so those two are done I'm just gonna go and pop them in my freezer we are going to do chicken Kiev so grab myself some butter Butter depends on how many chicken breasts you're stuffing. The same as a garlic puree. So I've got a garlic puree here. 
Okay, garlic puree. And then I need some parsley. Maybe half a teaspoon. With a fork, we're going to mash those two, those three ingredients together. This you can also use to make garlic bread as well. Same recipe here. Might add a bit more garlic. may have to whip some more up but we will see okay gonna grab your chicken breast that's a bit of bone there take that bit off for a start long knife okay that's better and you're going to I'm gonna remove these bits they're gonna no, I need these bits I'm using uh, removing I'll use it as chicken nuggets okay I'm gonna split I don't know you might have to come around this other side of me because I cut this side <laughs> you're gonna cut a pocket but you're not gonna go all the way through you're literally just cutting a pocket you're going to grab a spoonful of this, maybe more, and push that in the pocket. We are going to get cocktail sticks because this is how you're going to hold the pocket together. I'm going to have to use two, I think. No, nope, that one just broke. That's not what you want to do. Don't break the cocktail sticks. Might be good way of like that, that's one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and I'll do the other stages when I've done them all. You got any loose bits? If so, no, not really. Cut the pocket. That's two. I've got five I'm doing. Which I don't think I'm going to have enough. It's fine, it's easy enough to whip some more up. So I'm going through the top layer. the top layer, through the bottom layer, and back up through both layers. It is a bit of a faff. That's three. I always try to pick the meatiest part to put the pocket in. Ok, 
hair to make up just a little bit more for the last one. So I'm going to get rid of that into the sink. Cocktail stick. Up and through. There we are. Now, we'll move that to there. We have some flour, we have beaten egg, and homemade breadcrumbs. Trying to make room so I can do this. Okay, into this flour, I'm going to put some. Salt and pepper. Good. A lot of salt. I use pure sea salt. Some black pepper. I grind down myself. So it's probably about a teaspoon of salt, maybe. Quarter to half a teaspoon of pepper. Just going to mix that in. Right. We're going to pick up one of your chicken breasts. We're going to roll it in that seasoned flour. Make sure you get it all over. We're then going to put that into the egg. This is what's going to make the breadcrumbs stick. Into the breadcrumbs. Roll it round. I always keep one hand clean, one hand dirty. <laughs> that way it gives us, allows us to put these in, so that's what it looks like. And I'm going to just slide that into there. I'm going to pick up the next one, making sure my, my clean hand is well out of the way. That is my top tip. Keep one hand clean into the egg into the breadcrumbs get a good roll round into the bag that was a little bit of a bull pepper so that's one bag Second bag, flour, egg, into our bag so another patch that was again flour Breadcrumbs in 
to the end. The breadcrumbs. I might do as I do another one up. I'll do that off camera. I'll do another one up so it fills this bag up properly. And I'll bring you back after I've done that one. With the rest of the chicken, what we should have actually said is we started off with four kilos of chicken kilos of chicken breast so what was left which was slightly smaller breast there's probably about four slightly smaller breasts and then a couple of little what I call off cut bits I'm now cutting these into a bite size and we're gonna do homemade chicken nuggets with them and it's simple But no nasties. Mix again in there. Should have got a bag ready. What I do is I put them on a tray and I freeze them. Flash freeze them and then put them in a bag. Oh. So we're going to roll around in the flour. We're going to then put those just the same into the egg, roll around. I'm going to do that with all of them. Nope, that was supposed to go. No, that was right. Let's get myself confused then. That's because I've already done them in the flour. So do them one at a time. And I flash freeze them so they're nice and hard on the tray that way they don't stick to each other when they're in the freezer do the rest off camera when I finished I'll show you how much we've got and there are two trays of chicken nuggets so four kilos of chicken got us two trays of chicken nuggets two bags of honey sesame chicken and six chicken Kiev breasts so that's it now I've got to do the 150 pantry challenge I'm going to pop them in my freezer in a bit now for this challenge I have a video um, saying why I do this challenge and I will link that up in the iCards as well up here and with this £1.50 we go from sweet treats, single ingredients, convenience foods, paracetamol, ibuprofen, plasters, bandages, um, throat sweets, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, basically from A to Z. So this week's £1.50 pantry challenge, we have golden vegetable savoury rice from Aldi this is cream of tomato soup and another tin of cream of tomato soup so that's that right guys that's it for this week i hope you enjoyed it um, keep your eyes open for more freezer meals they should be coming up in the next few weeks trying to stock my new freezer up so if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing as bringing out new content all the time and don't forget all my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, Tumblr, X is all down in the description box below. And I will see you on the next one. 
Bye and take care.